Yeah, it goes for medics. Yeah, it goes for medics. You go for medics. Yeah, it goes for medics. I don't know how that works. You have to excuse the double T, but um, I'm just using two cameras at the moment. Um, more. Sorry, you're getting the feed from out the back as well. Oh, we're good to go. Right, excuse me while I end my day. It's been a long morning. Here we go then. Welcome aboard. Let me know if it's all working in the comments, please. Let me get the thingy plugged into there so you don't hear that. Bang, bang, bada, boom. Lock this roof already. Okay, so good afternoon. Welcome to Yum Yum Racing. It's been a long morning. Tom Herbert starts the day with a 12, 81, and 113 to the BMW's 1246. Loads of cars in the pairing lanes. Some really, really cool cars coming up. What about a regular run with your brothers? With the BMW, the Blorgy has been regularly down into the tens. Now, unfortunately, I don't have all the names of these drivers because they don't come up on the computer today. I know most of them, but I wouldn't go through. Lightness shift there for the BMW is slow. Top end. Lotus Elise goes through with a 12.72. Right hand lane is going very, very slowly. Okay. One that we've all seen on uh, the Twin Engine Corsa channel, the VR6 four-wheel drive Renault 5. Just be careful, gentlemen, with the cameras. Do not carry on, please. You are going beyond your limits, so you're allowed to go. Come back. Thank you, please. To the 14s before he's hoping to get that down into the 30s he tests for the front wheel drive class the door slammers 1150 at 127 for get your ass back my friend with the camera we will stop racing until you come back Quite simple. Only the guys signed on are allowed beyond that point that says press. Kieran will chop you down and kill you. He's a ninja. Kieran, <laughs> trying to load. <laughs> That thing's got some power, hasn't it? So mid track doing 94 after a little snake and goes through with 812, 51, 132 miles an hour. Again, saying we've got some absolute monsters in the pairing lanes. A number of these cars, of course, you're going to be seeing signed up for door slammers. 
again, just a reminder to all of our crews, only a certain amount of crew are allowed to come around with a car. And of course, anyone coming around with video in, we have our official signed on members. And we will stop racing before people come around to the side. I only have to I get told in the year. So, good afternoon. How are we doing? Welcome to the European Front Wheel Drive stream of the Yam Yam Racing Test Day. It's been a um, wet, wet morning. We woke up this morning to thunderstorms, showers, sleet, what felt like snow. We almost got going about two hours ago and then we got a shower. Um, now we're back to it. So we're just opening up for the afternoon session. There's around about 70 to 80 cars, a lot of them real high performance cars. Uh, some people getting tested in ready for national drag racing championships. Some of the guys have just got aftermarket cars, but they want to make track time, uh, which normally you would get on a test day like today. But unfortunately, we started late, even though we started late. I think everyone should still get at least four, five, six runs depending on their setup. The next Yam Yam Racing Day will be on Monday, the 1st of July. So again, get yourself signed up for that and come and join us. Okay, right. The Tom Wrigley Army walk underneath the tower. These guys have brought out some real performance cars this year from the first run with Yubron. And this one is ready to rock on the quarter mile. Switch on launch 148.60 foot of the eighth mile, 117. And our BMW goes 959, 147 miles an hour. A great start to the day. There's still plenty more in that, as you saw from the launch. And a second one. Chatting to the guys this morning from AMC Performance about this um, X3 competition. Well into the four figures, this thing. A whole lot of power. Checking out some gearbox qualifications on it today. And a 947 at 146 from the family wagon. A 947. There's a car we've not seen for a while. Thomas King. Put King. 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 All right, Thomas King with the Voxel Mariva. Look at these. Spoiler on the back now. 161 60 foot, the eighth mile, 104, and goes through with an 11.01 at 128 miles an hour. Fantastic bars. <laughs> Jake Tippin with the TDI van over the winter. 
made those carbon rear doors and the bonnet himself. Now I'm going to assume this first pass is going to be a checkout without nitrous, hence why it's so rich. Oh, there was an issue there. Well, he's still out in front of the BMW, both cars having issues, unfortunately. And again, of course, uh, today is a test day, so it gives it the perfect opportunity for a lot of our guys to test things out without the pressure of running in front of a big crowd. Again, just the latest European front wheel drive that we've got going. You can win yourself a Hangar 30 850 drag gauge for just £7.50. Only 75 tickets left to go. You can hit the link in the description and hopefully we'll get that sold out today and get that drawn as soon as possible. If you're watching the feed, please make sure you share it on. Let's get a few people watching throughout the day. Toyota to Yaris. GR. It's been down into the twelves. Not I've seen, but I believe this one in America. It's been down into the nines. Twelve thirty-five. trying to keep himself warm he is testing in escorts great to see this back in england he is entered in the bracket class at the door slammers event next month and this is giving paul a chance to get the car dialed in Seven sixty-four, ninety-four at the eighth, and Paul starts his checkout with a twelve eighteen at seventy-seven miles an hour. As you can see, off the throttle. Which Grieve is in the house. Thank you very much. Watching from Scotland. Again, hope all is well. Please uh, do share this on. Now, of course, this is just a me iPad in the window. Just give a view. Maybe you're at work. You can see Kieran down there from Mark One Kieran YouTube channel. He's doing a lot of filming, so there will be real good footage coming later on. And of course, Mr. Pudgy's out there always taking some great photos. Check it out. 
Morning from the Dominican Republic. Hello on the VR6 boys. You've already missed Tom if you just signed on. He did a first check out pass of 12 8, if I remember correct. We've had some great cars so far. Nine second X3 competition. Reckon you radio down now while we've got track prep. All you've got to do is radio and sort of yeah, clean up. <laughs> Check it out. 17 minutes in. Good afternoon. Hopefully you're doing well. Um, I'm really hoping I can get a roving cameraman out there. If I can find someone with a camera, I can go and add to the pair anyway. That'd be good. Now, if you want to get yourself signed up for the next Yam Yam Racing Test Day, it is on July the 1st, Monday, July the 1st, of course. Uh, £110 gets you racing throughout the day or whatever time we get started. Hopefully July will be a bit better than today. In fact, we've been doing it for a number of years now. It's the first time uh, that we've had a bit of rain. So we've done really well. Get out, the Hummer. Oh, yes. <laughs> the Hummer race car. So, 98 of the 8th mile, and our driver goes through with 11.56 at 116, while the Hummer goes through with 17.51 at 75 miles an hour. Considering the size of that thing, it's not too shabby. To escort, take it on the free, free, fine diesel. I've seen these go down into the 12s a number of times in stock form. This one goes through with 1174 at 106 miles an hour. Apologies if you're watching on the live stream. Uh, the reason it keeps focusing in and out is because the iPad is against the window and it is very, very windy here. So the window keeps hitting the iPad and making it move and just adjust its uh, visibility. Do -do -do. Talk will I stream from Festival of Power practice? Uh, afraid not, I won't be here on that. Of course, there'll be a live stream throughout the whole weekend from uh, Box Lane Productions as usual. That'll be going live on the what the Friday, 
Saturday and Sunday, but unfortunately there'll be nothing on the test day. Our festival of power. Because if I was here, I'd be testing, but unfortunately I'd have to be elsewhere. Afternoon, Darren Huxley, Luke Probert, watching from the West Midlands, Jordan Clark, watching from work, awaiting the phone call from the Brioche Boys. Again, good afternoon to everyone joining in. Jamie's in the house, working on the buses. It's been a long, long day, ladies and gentlemen. We just got started racing, what, 21 minutes ago? Uh, we've got through a number of cars. Runs as well, there are some awesome cars. <laughs> Up. Jonathan Gamble with that awesome Sapphire Cosworth four wheel drive, and of course, a road car as well. seeing what it will do with the new rear gearing. And of course, James is going to go into pre up and then he's going to bump the car. Oh, no, he's just taking it nice and easy. One thirty-eight, sixty foot. 110 at the 8th mile. James Gould starts his season with a 973. <laughs> Great start. All right, next up, Bo Shabs with that gorgeous GTR. And he's going to be taking on Tom Herbert with the white label Motorsport VR6 Supercharged Corrado. See if you don't go a couple. Did try the launch control there, it did sound naughty naughty. Okay, so sixteen ninety two and a hundred and four for most apps. Uh, you have to let me know which car Matt Holder is running. I haven't got an entry list of names, unfortunately. So, also I know some. I know some of the guys. Some of the non-regular ones, I don't know their race numbers or number plates, if you know what I mean. 
let me know what the car it is you want me to look out for and I'll let you know. Okay, right. Is that an R S I think it's an S4. Taking on the 350Z. The giant 360 cam hanging out the back. Through the top end, eleven ninety nine to a twelve sixty two. Of course, this uh, gorgeous afternoon of testing is brought to you by Yam Yam Racing. If you want to get yourself signed on for the next one, please do so as soon as possible. There are still places available. The next test day is on the 1st of July. As usual, £110 for your racing and four tickets, including driver and crew. The sooner we get that signed up, the sooner Scott's blood pressure goes down upon booking these. So please don't leave us at the last minute like we did this time with the metro sub two seconds 60 foot this time TTRS drives around the mid track doing 76 to 98 the Audi goes 11 11 and Ryan goes 14 19 at 93 miles an hour he's entered into the front wheel drive class at the door Simon. so there you go if you're watching and you're saying I've got a 13 second car a 12 second car what's the point of entering Door slams, there you go. Right, he's got a 14 second car. He's man enough to enter. What are we going to do is win or unround. Come on, Let's start the Lotus. It's going to be taking on another one of these awesome. Point nine one one hundred and forty. So we're thirteen twenty seven at one hundred and forty. So I'm looking at some of the cars. The R6 powered Renault Five will be coming around as well. Super fast BMWs on the line also. You're not the biggest head start in the world. Brave on the chase now. Sadly, no Kestrel beer available today. The bars are shut. Sad times. Chat to the owner of Kestrel beer yesterday. Gave him an idea of a new beer. If it happens, you can thank me. Right. Four wheel drive. Row five. Once again. Johnny Marriage with the Beetle. Miss White Racing now turbocharged by the look of it. Takes on the X3 BMW condition. So 101 at the 8th. And 
Over you guys, 11.32.126. Again, Johnny Marriage on test runs. That's the first time I've seen that out with the turbo hanging out the back. So he's looking to go A to B, get data on the run. As he slows down over the finish line. He's going to be coming off at exit one, or junior exit as we call it. So, new cars entering the lanes. Nigel Gregson around the corner with one of our VW Sportsman cars. I think this is the first time we've seen this one series making his way down to the track. So new, he's still got the stickers on the slips. Gregson's done a few changes to the Ford Golf over the... A little bit lighter. Bit of aero on there. Double dip on the clutch. BMW is doing 97 of the 8th to 80 miles an hour. We go at 11.78. Nigel Gregson goes 13.62. 200 miles an hour. Okay, well, unfortunately, that cloud is just flipped. Floating above, scrutineering at the moment. It's just putting a few droplets down on the track, so just bear with us for two seconds, uh, maybe a minute. Luckily, the wind is quite heavy, so it just blows us across. Of course, on the life line, it gives me a chance to go to another.
There you go, see? Good little effort to put on when we can. So we're just waiting on that cloud just to fly by. Hopefully it won't take long. As you just saw an advert there for Hangar 30, just a reminder once again, uh, we have that Hangar 30 roll cage raffle. Uh, there is about 70 tickets left to go. It's £7.50 a ticket, or you can go free tickets for... As soon as we're all sold out, we can get the draw done, and someone will be booked into Hangar 30 to get a full 850 roll cage worth about 1600 quid. So if you're watching this and you're enjoying the live stream on a Monday afternoon, wherever you're watching in the world, be it the UK or around the world, support us by buying a raffle ticket which could win you a roll cage worth around about 1600 quid who's in the comments then while we've got a little bit of doubt at ice bear racing that is mr alan kenyon mr pb from the weekend enough for some runs new clutch is ordered for me be ready for door slammers Bruce Harvey says, see you in two weeks. Uh, David Lamott, check it out. Maybe Bad Man Ting Racing here fan. Yes. <laughs> no no uh, Big Man Ting here today, unfortunately. So we've just got a few seconds of downtime. So what you'll have to do is just put up with me. So at this point, flip that round how are we doing uh, a few floods of rain in the air so you're just gonna have to talk to me because i can't be able to stop it because if i stop it we'll never get it so uh we're just gonna have to chat away and see how everyone is so far today uh quickest run was a 947 second quickest run scott come join me oh getting out of the wind <laughs> hey, come no, it's a good job i've got no hair Quick. I've got Santa Pod non sunburn. Oh, mate. Can't, mate. A little bit of rain. Yeah, we've got a little bit of rain. Slide, slide it now. Are we live? Yeah, we're still live, but I thought there's no point stopping the feed. Morning. I thought I might as well just keep yes. it going. It's like sunburn, but it's not. It's just yeah, wind, wind burn. Wind burn. Wind burn. Oh, wow. Who's on there? We got? There's a few people on there. They're, they're all working hard at work, you see. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, on, a, on a Monday Monday afternoon, it is now. We, we, we did quite well. How many of these have you done so far? Uh, well, this is the fifth year now, so we've been doing an average two to three a year. So, so this is the first time we've had a bit of rain. First time. Serious like that. But we got the track open, and let's be honest, some people are on their third yeah, runs yeah, already. Yeah, at R32. Reggie Five, I think he's had a couple, hasn't he? Tom. That's cool, mate. I like that. I like um, that. Who else is it? Tom Herbert snapped a shaft, didn't he? Or broke yeah. something. That's so aggressive, though, that car. Just watch it launch. Just, uh... Well, that came off uh, Gordon's Dino on Saturday. Did it? Okay. It made like 455 really? horsepower. It's the most powerful supercharged VR6 in, wow. in the world. Wow, okay. So yeah, he's, he's going uh... for that European. No, he's got the, Euro... he's got the fastest VR6 turbo. In, no, VR, supercharged VR6 in Europe. Okay. I think the world's fastest is like a 10.7. Right. So he wants to go there. Fair enough. So, yeah. Well, that's a good little turn. Oh, we even got Jax around the corner. No, he did well, didn't he? Was he? Oh, uh, sorry. I think he was about uh, James. Was that James Gold? Yeah, yeah, that's a new PB. 9.7, was it? Yeah. Yeah, so he looked strong all the way. All and the way he, didn't, he didn't bump it into stage either. So he didn't really actually build that much boost up on right, the start okay. line. Yeah. We got the I love that yeah, we got a Hummer. Uh... We got a Hummer. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds good. Probably waste the mid worth of fuel just driving through the burnout. But, but he's back around. And driving here. Yeah. Well, you're not going to trailer that shit, are you? He, um, he's got a YouTube channel, I believe. Um, and he's going for like the world's fastest drag Hummer or something. Um, yeah, I'll try and try and find out a bit more about it. Yeah, it's got a sort of YouTube like, backer Hummer. Yeah. Beard, he's on his way up the tower as well. <laughs> he's got the sound. Idea, the, uh, That's it. Uh, well, I was sitting here earlier and I realised I, start, I started that and I was like, right, I don't know when we're going to get going. So I'll start that and then I put the extra person on my phone and I was going to run okay. outside. Yeah, yeah. But if, anyone, if anyone's bored, like if, you, if you put a stream on your phone, I can put you outside with a camera on the start ah, line. Okay. That's posh, isn't it? 
Oh, you is, speak to them. Come on, come on, join the. Uh, oh, fuck, party, in here. What's right. going on up here? See where. I would just spread. Why don't everyone just relax? Spread the mat. Squeeze the chair in. Oh. All around the side somewhere. Oh, around that side, you get in the middle. Oh, yeah. This is where the magic happens, is it's it? it? Can you can you bring all your likes and subscribers? Oh, look, you're not going to squeeze in. You're not you're not allowed on camera though. Not on camera. That's just help me, voice. There you go. Just got your voice in there. There we go. We're still live on YouTube and Facebook, so. We're just wasting a bit of time where it was a little flutter of rain and yeah. Train on. Yeah. Stopped. Well, the thing is, the downside is it's really windy. But the upside is, if it does rain, it's really windy. Yeah. Oh, tries it. I think we saw all four seasons today. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there, there's there's a good inch of snow uh, just down underneath the uh, underneath the tower up against the wall. Incredible. Never seen anything like it. Doggy Gemmel's in the house. Good mix of cars. Is your car going to be ready? Or door slammers? That is the question. That's another car we've not. Seen. Have you done a door slammers before? I don't think he has. It was a drag series, weren't it? Yeah. And he did a couple of test days, and then he's been building it, upgrading bits ever since. Um, yeah. Darren Huxley. Darren Huxley asked what the uh, white what Matthew the, Holder did. Yeah, the balloon yeah. being. But thank you. Very uh, much. I think he was in the. I think he's trying to be a bit. Well, he said basically he was like, "I don't want to launch it because I'm going to break something." And I think he said he broke the shaft <laughs> the last time he came. So um, that's because yeah. he's not got a drug slip, huh? Yeah, I think he, he spent Cut. a bit of time spinning. But, uh, uh, Williamson is in the house. So yeah, but we've got to try and encourage a few people to uh, get signed on for door slammers because that's the next one. Greetings from Holland, from Achilles. Yeah, I'll be putting, like, swapping between the two of these. Next Yami Yam Racing Day is on. Is it, it is Monday the first, isn't it? July. Yeah, that's I it. think it's after. Is it? Well, there's a there's a race event on. I'll have nice. to Google it because that was why we did it. That would be uh, probably summer national. Okay. Summer national. I think it is the summer national. Yeah. How many signed up for doors? Front wheel driver. Twenty nine at the moment. All right. Yeah, but you know, it's the last minute, it does it like last 60 week. odd. It, do, it doesn't matter whether it's door slammers or Scott's test yeah. day. Everyone wants to enter with two days to go. Yeah, that's because yeah. we're all fixing, so two days to go. <laughs> well, I'm not giving you my money until the last second. Until I know the cow works. And then makes the uh, organisers sit there panicking, going, oh my god. 60, 68 last year, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and we ended up with 59 running. Everyone qualified. When it come, yeah, everyone everyone qualified with 59 right. running when it comes to elimination. So my goal this year is to have a full 64-car field running. Um, but I think we will end up with 80 entrants. All right. Yeah, Summer Nationals is the 29th to the 30th of June. So it'll be the day after Summer Nationals, the next test day. Oh, there you go, James. James England in reply. It's after Summer Nationals. There you go. Yeah, thank you. So we'll be there as well. Tamara Sudikos, fellow from Croatia. She's got a Honda Civic. She bought a ticket for the Hangar Point Roll Cage. She's over there as well. Okay. But good luck to her. And don't be getting on the next She says, front wheel drive. Never done door salads. Car running to... Yes. See? Battle of the EP3s then with uh, Mr. Prout. Mm. So which one goes straight first? No, no that's it. That EP3 that was running yesterday did really well. <laughs> um, turbo? George Baker. I mean, it's a street car. Okay. They ran 11, 9, no, 1098. Wow. And he was, uh, and drove here. And, drove to home. Home. and it was the first time he actually ran the slicks. Okay. And he was just like, why have I not put slicks on? Well, yeah. people have been telling me for two years, yeah, just yeah. put some slicks on. And he was like, no. Nah, and now he's done it, and he's like, why did I not do this so long ago? Has the guy with his Civic fixed his? Don't know, I haven't seen him. Jody Van... As... I don't know. He's he's some as as Jody Van what? As, yes. That's what I think yes. it is. That's yeah. what I, I just You'd say it's better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it could be completely wrong. <laughs> no, because no, he's no, also... No, uh, it is South Africa. Yes, so Jody yes. Van Aswagen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there. it's probably completely wrong <laughs> to that. Basically, what I do is I say the name wrong until someone comes up and tells me, like, like Ben. What's Ben's surname? Fagita. Yeah, so oh, you could get Fagita. Fagita. 
Fadgeter. <laughs> <laughs> no, Fadgeter. I, I say Fadgeter, but he's never corrected me, so I assume that it's is correct. correct. <laughs> the best one is like in Malta, I look at some of the names and I'm like, no, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do that, honestly. Woo. But no, no, you get it. You, we've got it down to a T now. There's only the couple of ones. And the commentary, I go quiet with the name. Mm. And then, it, so maybe the first name is something I can't say, but the surname, so I'm like, I say the name. And then the surname. <laughs> And then hopefully no one notices. Yes. Because I don't like the weather's clearing up, mate. Just finished work. I'm going to stick it on when I get home. Yeah, yeah. It's been uh, lovely this afternoon, although this cloud. Yeah, that looks good. This cloud will pack off. Yeah. Be gone. It's just hit and miss, isn't it? I think they've done so well just to get the traffic running. So it's, um, the positive is, though, like normally on these days, come three o'clock, there's like 25 people going round and round. Yeah. I'm usually here, I'm, I'm usually here chatting away. <laughs> I look around the corner at four o'clock. I see no Scott going. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. he's like, oh, yeah. beep beep. And then we get to like four, like half past four, yeah. and I've got the same five cars going round, round and round because yeah. they're road cars. They're, they're still quick, but they can go round and round. Yeah. Unless it's sunny, I've not been round yet. Yeah. Grand Park's not been. Unless it's Civic's not been. Mm. Uh, Carl Jacobs, I saw him. He's driving out. Was he? Yeah. 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 Unless he's just moving, but a lot of people have moved from the bottom to be on the grandstand just because of the wind. But makes sense. Um, That's how they go. And your car's here. It is here, uh, not going up the strip. You're just like driving around with it. No, I went to a big short weekend in London. Uh, ah, is that the one underground? Yes, so I've done cool. that. Uh, and then I was filming. <laughs> have, a, have a day of it, so I'll have you <laughs> Flip this camera around. We're back to the racing as if like we never stopped. Welcome back to the BMW show. <laughs> <laughs> AKA Yummy on a test day. Listen, I can't slag them off the X3M. Oh, I was well in racing that thing. Uh, 94. <laughs> I think it's Susie McClure, that's her car isn't it, but Douglas Walter Mitty I believe uh, is driving it because he's done some upgrades so uh we do have you got the um you know your entry list mm, yeah would you rather ping it to anybody can print it out for me because i've got this one i'll see are we, are we brain chicken <laughs> Send a file over to. Send you something? Can you print it out? Yeah, race control at Santabod.com. Okay. Cool. Doggy Gamble says, "Who's your money on for door slammers?" The Nova for me. The Nova. What's it called, David? Lamy. David Lamy. Are you picking our first back-to-back champion? Has to be for me. That car is so consistent. Never seems to break. And even if he does break, he fixes it quick. He did, he did break though. He, he broke he he head on the first day, and then Jay, Jacob got a head for him yeah. and put it on. Uh, but yeah, they got it fixed and died. The most impressive thing was how he dialed the car into the track. He's used to yeah. running on. He arrived here and he was running like nines, and he just couldn't get it to stick. And then they changed a few bits. Instead of complaining, going, "This track shit," 
they actually adjusted stuff right. and then it started working. And then you, you progress throughout the weekend. You're like, no, we've got this now. We saw, we got it, got it. it. Yeah. yeah. I don't think there's anyone in, I can think of who's that as consistent. True, true. Um, obviously, we don't know what. Uh, we've not seen, the, well, we've not seen Petros's new car, or Maria's new car, in fact. Because Petros is not driving anymore. It'll be Maria behind right. the wheel this year. Um, How come he drive? Because Maria was supposed to be driving from the start. Right. And then Petros had a go. And then basically, <laughs> Maria was like, oh, this is my car. And he was like, no, this is mine now. <laughs> So, so, so he specifically said, no, this is Maria's new car. Um, but one thing we will be doing at Door Slammers, though, is the old car is going to be raffled off. Right, interesting. Yeah, Although, obviously, the cage is not legal to go racing with. Okay. But if someone wants yeah, yeah. something to build for Door Slammers or Rummy yeah. Run and stuff like that, it's a full tube chassis car with wheel slits. <laughs> Obviously, no engine and running yeah. gear, but you can put yeah. whatever you like in there. I think it'll end up, Santa, if Santa Bada Central, they'll end up buying it and putting it in their museum, but that's what it's supposed to be building at some point. Well, they did a museum yeah. it. No, um, what's it been? Uh, Keith's been collecting a load of cars. Wow. Buying them all up. That'd be a nice thing. To go into the museum. So that'd be good with your rainy days, where you just you sat in your van and you just try to keep yeah, yeah. you just got to walk around there yeah, and have a look. That's it. That'd be a really good idea. So what are you co coming up on the channel in the next few weeks? Um, when we, when we can see Alan's blowout. First, you've got uh, a methanol-powered beetle. Okay. Uh, that's been in storage for 30 years. He's bringing it back out after rebuilding that. Uh, then we've got, on the dino stuff, we've got Alan's to come. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I've, I've been doing. Terry's not far off. I've been hearing. Um, let's have a look. That's all right, really. That's a drag race orientated. Um, yeah, them too, really. Like, so we did a beetle. If you put it's quite a famous thing, you'll probably know it. And I'll show you some pictures shortly so you can tell me which one it is. Uh, so, so I just go, ah, uh, yes, I know it. No, but he's supposed to be a very famous thing from oh, back no. in the day. No, Everyone's supposed to know it. Yeah, look at that. Typical England, isn't it? You've got all this sun when it's racing because it's raining. <laughs> and then it'll start. We, we, we've got this one cloud just above us. I know you can't see on the iPad on, on the very much for holding on. It won't be long. Oh, yeah. John Ruffles. Yeah. Beautiful car, man. Yeah, very, very nice. Full Billy. Did a lot of work on it. It was really good. Yeah, nice to see on the dyno. Yeah, that was a good thing to film. Uh, so do some of these now just get in contact with you and say, well, what can I film? Yeah, can you film it? a lot of some, some drag lads reach out to me and say, can you come and film the car? Uh, but then obviously the relationship with Chris at Fire Parts, yeah. he just says, come, we've got this coming in, so I can do this, so I can do this. And he just tells me what's interesting and I go over and film. It's good, well, it's good advertising for him, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And and until they get the day when something goes wrong and he's like, you're not putting that out, and you're like, it's my footage. <laughs> well, that was, that was what happened when we went to do Allen's because obviously it's been 130 odd mile an hour. And the mood just went from good because the dyno went to because yeah. it broke the dyno. Oh, did it? Yeah, broke that. So, so yeah, it, it, the, the mood changed. But again, it, it's part and parcel of Chris's job at some point, I suppose. No, that's Because things can happen. Oh, wow. Because he was here yesterday, wasn't he? Over the weekend, wasn't he? Did his PB. Alan was, yeah, yeah, right. A PB, yeah, mm -hmm. and obviously they didn't finish mapping, no, did they? You only got so, uh, but so there's even more than that. Yeah, what did he run? What was his PB? Uh, 1133. Oh, okay, no, it's not, it's not the, the run he, he's not the 10 he wanted off the trailer. I think it was like 400 ish horsepower, he was open for 500. So he's not far off his 10, then, is it? Huh, that's it. But that's uh, well, yeah. may, maybe he'll go back, I don't know, before door slammers or not. Find out. I'm sure he was talking about a different turbo the other day. Yes, he has got bigger turbo. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So again, continual development. What about your car again, Scott? Doesn't move. Doesn't move. <laughs> <laughs> I keep talking about it, but nothing's happening now. It's all quiet. I've got Just to keep talking about it. Uh, to keep yeah, the enthusiasm. Yeah, no, to be fair, I've always get miserable uh, about it. Piper had messaged me back this morning. Um, he's going to send me some measurements of the caps that he's.
Oh, very so nice. That may well be the route going down. Hello, Goddy. Conversation. Can, can you hear the iPad nice and well from here, guys? Because we're obviously leaning back on. And just like that, race cars are back. But it doesn't matter. Bruce, I said what Bruce said. Is some, no, I haven't seen him yet, mate. He was in the pits earlier on trying to set up the DSG. Malarkey. Uh, So we're back to it. Now, one cloud floated on by, and it's a glorious day. <laughs> Two minutes ago, we're sitting there going, oh, now we're like, beautiful day. Plenty of cars in the Baron Lane. John Dean is down, the wind's down. New one, the new one, isn't it? Looking good, that is. In 40 for the middle. I'm sure it's single turbo LS. It's great to see Tom King back with the Mariva as well. So close to the Pro ET drags, uh, clicks it off early and rolls through to a 12.98, just 56 miles an hour. drag racer you expect to see a hummer <laughs> taking on a voxel mariva what a view so last run for thomas king was an 11 zero one he's trying to get that little mariva into the tens and goes through to 43 at 127 Come on, Tom, sort it out. And a 17.39. Scott was telling me earlier that the chap with the Hummer is trying to have a fast time. Hello, Mr. There's that many Hummers out there. Look at that. John Bean's new Mustang. That is gorgeous. Single turbo V8. It's going to be a solo run. Is this going to be a checkout pass or a brand new car? This is wicked. John's been going around Europe doing a couple of races throughout the year. I believe he's heading out again this year. So first of all, this is going to be a checkout pass for a brand new chassis. timing ticket isn't it <laughs> well a little bit of adjustment on uh suspension and time is there oh,
Jason, do you want a headset to play with? Uh, which way is the wind? Yeah, the wind is coming that way as well. So you have got the you've got the bank blocking the wind. As soon as you go beyond that sand pod side, it goes bosh. Yeah. yeah, I noticed that this morning when I was walking the bit. That's there, and it kind of blew me over to the other side. I just walked in with bits in. But... Okay. All right, so just bear with us two seconds. We just got the uh, the bike just went down the tr track. It was uh, Steve Cope, wasn't it? He's just stopped just before the the end of the track. So we just got to get the quad and retrieve it. It's like the free monkey sitting on the wall. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. <laughs> which one's which, though? <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Watch that win, boys. That's it, that's it. Pudgy's like coming up as much as possible. Pudgy stealth today. You should have seen it earlier. I had people coming around everywhere. I saw Kieran staring at him. I was like, you better get back, boys, before he starts attacking you. And he's full on media. He's like, get out of my zone. <laughs> they are the OGs. <laughs> you know, the test, they OGs. The dream team. Look at them. Absolute perfection. He loves it. So, and then we've got the uh, the escort push going on in the old return home. So again, we're just waiting on the bike at the bottom end of the track to be retrieved off and out. Fifty. Apparently, it's a full. Look at this. I believe that, that Yaris that's coming around, that's the one that's over 600 horsepower. Nice. It's got his sort of YouTube video, but I didn't actually watch it yet. <laughs> I saw her a video, I didn't watch it. Yeah. That sounds like most of my videos. Easy, guys. <laughs> I, saw you, I saw you post it, I didn't watch it. <laughs> I need to watch that one about the, the electronic cut off. Uh, yeah. I've got a, I've got another video coming up this week um, uh, about the fuel cells. Okay. I was literally, I'd done all the filming, and then a few days later, I saw everyone chatting in the, about fuel cells, yes. and I was like, I've already recorded it's this. I've just it's not finished putting it together yet. Yeah. Again, reminder, uh, roll cage tickets. If you're watching this live stream, do us a favor. Go and get yourself a roll cage raffle ticket. Less than 75 left. I want to get this done. Thanks. Andrew Gilbert on the Suzuki GSXR doing 103 of the eighth. And goes through 1147, 127 miles an hour. 
See, if these lanes were like this yesterday, it'd have been good. <laughs> Unfortunately, you stole all my fast cars. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, so around about four o'clock you're gonna be leaving, yeah? Oh, that's terrible. Four, <laughs> I'll hit some traffic on the way back. Oh, that's it. Right, Grant Parker with the GP Turbos Mark One Golf. A wicked car this is. Got the five cylinder, ten valve, I believe it is, underneath the hood there. Definitely one of the best runs I have seen now. Oh, thank you, man. Very much, Mr. Stephen Unterwer. John B's car is a coyote. That is the, uh, if I remember, the five litre that came in the Mustang. I was sort of watching that on the YouTube channel the other day. I've heard of it, but it's uh, not my expertise. Nice. These are cool cars. What's the number plate say? Grippy. Grippy. I was going to say grappy, but. Or maybe he's a dwarf and it's grumpy. <laughs> We're allowed to say dwarf anymore. Uh, mm. Midget. Uh, height challenge? Is yeah, <laughs> vertically challenged. <laughs> it's grippy. It definitely was grippy. It's not. Right, so BMW goes through first with an 1177 and the Yaris 1236. You see, in America, there's one of them that runs nines. Yeah. Little three pot in there. That's it. Well, our guys have given up pushing. Good, good work, lads. Good work. I think uh, we've got the quad down to hook you up. <laughs> it's a you, long way. You don't realise how long that push is until you actually do it. And then you realise you have to push it beyond the quarter mile, around the corner and back oh, down. Yeah. Um, there is a side gate where you'll be coming up to in a minute that will be unlocked. If you could just pop through that side gate for us instead of walking all the way down. Superstars, thank you. Right, uh, Dan Huxley was on the YouTube channel, uh, European Rumble Drive, asking about this gentleman now if you hold up with the BMW. First run was a 12.46, second run was a 12.22. Now again, um, Aaron was saying he was actually scared to launch it a bit hard. Obviously, this car is set up for drifting. Spin off the start line. Okay. Twelve fifty-six and one hundred and eighty to an eleven forty at one hundred and twenty-three. I don't believe he drove it. Uh, oh, really? So. Oh, he... Go to sleep. Uh, hmm. It's fast, whatever it is. I mean, it could be go sleep. I thought it was go sleep. Louis will have to let us know. Is it go sleep or go deep? It's something I saw on the side. Cirx, S-E-R-X. Yeah. Some kind of BMW. That's a, another one of the BMW yeah. tuners. Door slammers. If you get like Austin performance, you get Tom Wrigley, you get Sirks, you get um, RS Tuning was here. Specky was here on Saturday. Nine eight zero hundred and forty six to an eleven sixty two at one hundred and twenty seven. One hundred and forty six. Yeah, that six hundred class. They go through say if they're in that. Obviously, unless they're in the street class. Six hundred is interesting. It won't be as interesting as our class. So. No, obviously. We, we rule that event. <laughs> yeah. It's another exotic number play. Now I'm going for Dare You. I'll go with Dare You. T 
S-C-T-R-S Agen Chicken Good like that. I could put eight. I could put it on there. I'll just let it highlight for a while. Mm. That's 
That's impressive. Uh, time stamp on there, 11.16. Of course, uh, you can watch that on Mark on Kieran at some point. Probably the end of today. He was ninja quick last time uploading this. I, I, I was uploading those videos yesterday. And I did the finals one. I pressed upload. I don't even think it's uploaded. Like, my, um, my iPad was flat. And I clicked on the second one thing. By the time I finished with the second one, the third one, just roll over. Yeah. Oh. In the second one, I had the guy from Kestrel, <laughs> and he was trying to talk to me. I was like, dude, I'm trying to do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I've got, got some amount of time to do stuff in it. Right, who we got next? Tone vehicle. Hey, Rob Small has in the lane. It's with the uh, dirty dog. Steve Roman, Tom Jimenez. Uh, couple, yeah, a couple of weeks ago. Oh, no, he's in the lane. You see the Is this your first internationally? <laughs> internationally? The remote phone. I know you're here. The driver, yeah. Paul Fennec. <laughs> 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 I think he had uh, some issues last one, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, did. Yeah. Uh, this has been down yeah. to the nine uh, <laughs> Christmas event in Malta. <laughs> this is dialing this car in, ready for the doors. <laughs> Clearer now. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes it makes sense. No comment. Yes. This has got to be his third or fourth run now, isn't it? Yeah. So, well, third run third coming up. 11.50, then at 11.34. That's a 10 second, 8th mile, 11.23, that's his best run. Have you seen the YouTube video though? Uh, Adam Beardy's one. No, this one, the, the R32, 25. Yeah, I've, well, I've seen a video of it. It's, uh, I don't know who uh, did it with. Okay, yeah. It's Jamie. Uh, yeah, I saw it on there. Cool car. It's different. <laughs> That's it. I mean, the general consensus track, yeah. The people who are on slicks, you know, gives them a better track. And I think we looked at the last test days, how much the track cuts up on the slicks lane, on the tres lane compared to the slicks lane. No, that's it. It just makes it a lot easier to keep the slicks lane just going yeah. at all times. They're not charging for that. <laughs> <laughs> Sixteen zero one eighty four miles an hour. I've never seen so many Martin Escorts in a long time. They all disappeared for a while. We used to have the uh, the old school four yeah. challenge. Of uh, course, well, that kind of went away. And then all like, yesterday, I just saw the mad Welshman who shared. He's here today. Yeah, he's here somewhere. 
Is he still? I'm sure the man Welsh one is still like incognito. I'm sure I didn't know any, anyone knows who he was. So his name is Dave. I think so. Yeah, give me a wave. Come on, Dave. Oh, no. Anyone knows who Dave is? Spots on the screen. He's coming here. Did you see there was a tornado this morning yeah, in the UK? The caravan. It felt like it was a caravan. Mark knows his. Says it's John Bean. John Bean run down today. Yes, in the new car, yeah. Yeah, he has uh, seen at 160 miles an hour. <laughs> um, basically lit the tyres till around about 100 foot, uh, then pedalled it a little bit, nailed it back down and absolutely scorched the tyres and uh, turned the world. It was brilliant. Right, uh, I'm looking over to the right and that is that cloud is not looking too good. As you can see the tractor is out of the moment. We've got a few spots on the screen, but you can see the rain quite low. So hopefully that will go around us. You never know how this place works. It's quite far away, doesn't it? It's coming up to three o'clock in the afternoon. Phil Swell is in the lanes. He's not putting a pass yet with the camper van. Uh, John Marco as well, he's at the front of the lanes now. And as we said, uh, the Daily Dog is in the lanes as well. So just bear with us while we uh, just do a bit of track work. But of course, we're looking over to the right of us for the moment. Well, actually, it's dark there, but it, it looks it's hopefully too far away to it. it looks blue. No, that's it. It looks very blue over there in the end of us anyway. But... I think anyone on the uh, the live stream can, uh, should be able to see that. The live stream, that cloud looks a lot more angry. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that. Look. <laughs> Julian's in the house. He's uh, working on the buses as well. And don't mention the clouds; they can hear you. Yeah. So. Um, so number one on the leaderboard today, is, I don't know if that is Tom Wrigley driving that car because there's so many of it and tuning cars and stuff, but whatever that Tom Wrigley performance car come out, 878, that's, uh, it's in the six cylinder class, I think. Contender, keep it going straight. It's a bit windy out there. See what you do here, the trick is, See the trees at the bottom end of the track. I mean, it's not, not going to do it with this one. But basically, you just look at those trees, and as soon as you see, depending on the way the wind's going, you watch those trees, and then all of a sudden you can't see the trees. And that's the point where I go to the people, run away! <laughs> but the wind's coming from the sides, so it's not going to do that. To you. Yeah, there's just like a big, big bend in the black. Well, okay. Neither side of it's blue. It's just a bit there. It's like a twister, you see? Coming in. Right the start line. I like that. It comes through the radio. We've got rain on the start line, and as it does that, the sun comes out and gives us like a little blaze of sun. Very kind. Okay, well, if you're watching on the live stream, uh, unfortunately, we've got a bit of rain just coming in. Hopefully, it won't take too long. It's just coming up to like five to three in the afternoon. I'm sure you can tell that by looking at your phone. You see what that the actual screen's pulling away from the case. Oh, no. <laughs> so, it's about six years old now. You should have a good innings. I don't want to replace it though. Yeah, Hold it. Yeah, I haven't run on I'm on Android. Uh, you need to come to Croatia. We have sunny 32 degrees on an April day. Thank you very much. Maybe one day. Not Maybe. jealous at all. No, that's it. You never know. Unfortunately, Croatia will not be on my list of trips this year. All, all my weekends are full. I can't fit anything in. Oh, 
uh, oh, what's it? Santa next this weekend. Uh, next weekend, Malta. What's June? June is four weekends of Santa Pod. Then Malta. Then four weekends of Santa Pod. Then Sweden. Followed by Germany. Busy, busy there. Yeah, I'm Oh, very nice, very nice. So if you're watching on the live stream, um, we've got a little bit of rain in the air. So this is your time. Just fire some questions in. Let's chat some. Whatever. Pass some time. Um, I'll just flick an advert on for a second. And fire in any questions, we'll answer them in a second. Someone saying hello. Uh, PM. Yeah. Who's PM? What Mad Welsh was telling you off? He's like, don't give away my name. <laughs> I'm a ninja. <laughs> I think there was a photo that come up on. It comes up on my like Facebook memories every once in a while. And I remember taking a photo of a guy who was at the top of the banking right down the end. And I took a photo and it was like, is this the elusive Mad Welsh photographer? <laughs> and he's like, nope. I was like, God damn it. I was like, you could be saying that just to trick me. Sniper. That's it. Could be sitting in the grandstand for we know. Could There's be someone there with a hood up. What's the quickest? Ah, oh, Mr. Birkinshaw. The quick Julian Morrison Wright in the house. One ticket down for the raffle. Thank you very much. Um, what's the quickest so far today? That would be the Tom Wrigley BMW with an 878. Uh, not bad, is it? The screen there. Okay, well, I just heard through the radio the words that I didn't want to hear, which was run away. Um, if you're in the pits and you've got a car cover, it might be an ideal time to throw a car cover over on just as precaution. I think it's going to get the bottom end. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's more clipping down there, mm. but it's one of those. We're in, mate, so. That's it. Ah! <laughs> this working on the chairs in the grandstand. He just stood up for a second, uh -huh. and now he's just sat down again. Uh -huh. I thought it was just a coat lost in the grandstand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he's like, oh, no, you found me. <laughs> He's watching the live stream as well. <laughs> Brilliant. Sounds a mad Welshman. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I bet it's windy up there. I bet. I bet. Right. So while well, we've got a couple of minutes down time, um, yeah, I had another uh, roll cage ticket sale there. Why not hit the link that's in the comments? Uh, go and buy yourself a Hangar 30 roll cage raffle ticket. It's just 7.30 for one ticket for free. We've got around about 60-something to go. If they all go today, I can do the draw, and we can get someone booked in as soon as possible. And that's for an 8.50 cage that costs you around about uh, just over 1,500 quid, I think it is these days. 
So go forth. Bashy's in the house. Good afternoon. Hope you're doing well. Haven't seen you in so long. Uh, do you know how Jack's been getting on today? I haven't had a chance to look on YouTube. I know he's doing 200 mile an hour runs today, hopefully. Just reminded me of that. I'll have a look. But if you know quicker. Darcy's in the house, sat watching at home for the stepson. Craig Evans had four tickets for a potential cage in pop. Oh, yeah. Nice, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't forget though, that roll cage can go in a front wheel drive car, a rear wheel drive car, an all wheel drive car. We don't care. Essentially, all you're doing is putting money into the European front wheel drive kitty that helps pay for stuff like the Starlinks that we've got so we can keep stuff going out at Soundapod when, you know, the internet is terrible here. I can go, aha. Is that Bashy? Bashy built? Yeah. Did you change his name? He's... No, this is um, not his thingy. I haven't seen a YouTube channel. Two. He got a video of Bashy on there. Let's have a look. Yeah. Let's see how the bowl is getting on. That takes some balls going 200 miles an hour. Last I heard, he was waiting for the truck to try up. Yeah, no, 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 no updates from him. The sun's out now, look. Look at this. We did well with that. Hasn't it, hasn't it this end, does it? So, no. Not yet. Okay. Okay, well, the sun is uh, coming back out again. I think we might have uh, avoided that quite well. So, the track is going up and down and keeping on top of the track. So, just bear with us and we'll have the track open pretty soon by the looks of it. Let's see if I can get this. Damn headphone to work. Oh, there we go, fixed it. Ah, there you go, that's good to hear. Track's still really good. And very, very soon. Sit, go on, go around us, go around us, go. Sometimes we just get lucky. Yeah, that could have been really bad, can not it? There you go, you're like, Okay, just been heard from the radio. Five minutes and we will be back underway. So if you've got a car in the parent lane, you can whip off the car covers. And if you're in the bits, hopefully that has just avoided us and we can continue on. Look at that blue sky, isn't it? That's it. The yam yam racing luck continues. <laughs> That's what everyone says. Yeah, but we've done well. I mean, big shade out to the pod staff, but it was. The guys who put in a proper show, I mean, you don't, you don't really see what goes on, do you? You're just like, is it ready to go? Is it ready to go yet? Fair play. And what it says, uh, Paul Aitken, has Scott had us ham cob today? I'm hungry. <laughs> That's been me worse. But no, uh, although I haven't yet. Did you not bring lunch? No, I didn't. I, I had to. Uh, I thought I would come and spend some money at Santa Pod because I'm a nice guy and I want Easy to see man. the. Uh, the uh, did you Did you bring your card only? And then they went. Yeah, I did. No. Yeah. And <laughs> Sorry. Cash and then, only. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Half Darren. Um, <laughs> Alan Cruz, Lars, Lars, Lars. Yeah. I can't say that either. Um, yes, I owe him 20 quid, so uh, <laughs> I'm going to pick him some money over later. Happy days. But now a nice a nice ham cob with a side of salad. Oh. And uh, a cheeky uh, strawberry and lime recording would go down very well right now. See, I'm going to go I'm gonna go fat boy and have a Chinese tonight because it's, um, it's returned from pod day. So my wife will be, it's uh, Chinese night tonight. Nice. I said, oh, I might not even be open on a Monday. I might get away with this. 
Well, she had a safe so one open somewhere. Oh, I'm not travelling too fast. She's very picky. Okay. She's very picky. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Mad Welsh, it's called a batch. No, it's not. I've got that hand roll. I've just, yeah. Cool, is it? Someone, I actually learned this thing. Cool, is it? It's called the centre of bread. I don't know what that means, but sounds good for them. No? No. I don't even eat bread. I try not to. I, I am now. I am a brown breader now, not a white breader. Oh yeah. Yes, yes. Only of recent, but I am a brown breader now. I'm a zero breader. It's not good for them. No, no, it's not. I am a uh, meat only man. <laughs> my, my my fridge is uh, stocked full of steaks. Uh, I have a uh, steak every day for dinner. Some days I have steak for breakfast. Or uh, some minted lamb steaks, or some pork loins, or bacon and eggs. And sometimes I have steak with my steak. If, if, I'm, if I'm feeling crazy. Um, just like medium rare. Not beaten. No, not beaten. No, not, not rare. Medium rare. So you've got to give it, you've got to give it a minute. You, you turn the hob on to like 90 seconds, 12, 12, 12 uh, 10 out of 12. And I give it a minute one side, a minute the other side, turn it down to six and just let it give it a, like a minute and a half on each side just to cook it a little bit more. But yeah, still nice and chewy inside. Still yeah, nice and red nice. inside. I don't get the chewy that. I oh, spent my mother bless her. She always used to burn everything. Yeah. Really. No, see, that's wrong. I, I, like to, I like to point it a little bit. No, no. I have to like, really get it. I end up with bits in between the teeth. And, yeah. I like it a bit, a bit burned. No. I'm, I'm a well done man. No. Get out. You're not allowed to take anymore. Yes. Oh, no. Yeah. One day when you make it over to Malta and you go to the steak place and you say, you can have it well done, he'll be like, he'll be like, no. He's like, no. He's like, no. He's like, no. So I'm not cooking it. Like, I'm not cooking steak well done. He's like, order something else. It tastes all meaty now, like really. Oh, shut up. Can have it well done. Uh, it tastes burnt. It tastes ruined. Stuart Bennett says batch. No, so, a batch is a collective. It's a group of something. A group of cobs would be a batch. That's it. So, pack of six. <laughs> yeah. All right, John Mark, who is jumping into his Mark 8 Gold. I believe he's chasing a record of some description. No, I think he had it. He did tell me. Unless it. someone's taken it I off believe him. someone's taken it. Because at, at one point, he was like, I am the fuck. Because he was here every weekend, every run that you've run, and he was running. I was like, where are you? He was like, well, I'm the quickest. I've got no incentive to come. Okay. So unless someone's beaten him. He's been doing a lot of um, tuning for RTMG these yes. days. Uh, he messaged me, when was it? The 7th of April, whenever that was. Uh, and he said, someone took the Mark 8R record last night. So let's see if we can take it back. Okay. I don't know what the record is. No. But I'm sure you'll be at it when he gets there. I mean, the fact that it just looks like a completely stock car. I know, yeah. It's disgraceful, he, isn't it? That's it. But he's been working out of um, AMC Performance, just uh, Market Harbour away. Yeah, less, less yeah, yeah. Right, my fox hunting. Never had an opening. No, that's got trees like London. All oh, right. Yeah. I'm starting to talk a bit funny then. Because <laughs> obviously the black country is, you know, the peak of language. Oh, is it the peak of language? Yes. Is yes. Is that shows not the peak of football. Uh, well, that's, uh, that's down the road, Ashton. That's the Birmingham, yes, which is not the black country. No, definitely not. Sister. We had a sister. Not by the same parent, I used to have the same parent. We had a good result yesterday. 2 0 over there. I saw that. I was watching it to start with, and the old forest started jumping. There was 40 to 1 the other day on Villa beating Arsenal. Oh, fuck no. And then I forgot about it. Oh, shit. Something good. It was a good day in the house up there because my dad supports Crystal Palace. So, yeah. Good ball. It's all open again, then, only. So we'll lose, then you lose. Man City just slowly start winning the back row. Nobody takes any notice. There we go. Fire up, we here. So, cars are coming back round again. 
just look at that weather. That's yeah. beautiful. It's almost ready for a photo. You just gotta wait for this to keep yeah. clearing and then we can get yeah. the photo. And you can be just taking a photo. Another cracking beautiful day. Yeah, <laughs> the yeah, yeah, yeah. Day. As always. Yes, as always, as always. I think we're right. We've got about an hour, have we? Well the, the live's been on for what an hour and forty one. Mm -hmm. Even though it's only been on for an hour and forty one, say we've lost half an hour racing, mm. a lot of our guys are still on their forefront. Yeah, yeah. Well that's the joys of these days, isn't it? That's why we and obviously, when I am racing, I can't decide to pass. So, so the next one is uh, July the 1st, Monday, July the 1st. There are places available for that. Um, £110 for your racing and for four tickets. That includes driver and crew. Um, and what's the third date? I, I should check. I think it's the 23rd of September. It's not the day after national finals this time, is it? What is it? Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Hopefully it is, because that made sense. But like I said, we, we try and get it after the um, after the uh, race weekends, just so it's got a better, better track. Yeah. The river has been put down over the weekend for us. And... Steve Unsworth, the Mark 8 record is 10.76 and John's PB is 10.78. Good lad, thank you very much. Steve, are you here or are you just watching online? Yeah, Monday the 23rd. Uh, Monday the 23rd of September is the third test day, which is after the national final. Another sp <laughs> All the bush then? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Well, if things go badly, I'll be here. If things go good, unfortunately, I won't be here. Okay. You're leaving me. Yeah, so, yeah. so. Um, I'll be in Malta that day. Okay. If all goes well. Yeah. Unless. I don't know. Unless, well, you never know. I might be able to get a, a Sunday night flight. You never know. We'll see. We'll see. What's happening in Malta, Tom, are you? Uh, that's their round four of the championship. I'm going over to Malta for every month. So, after the May event, which is coming up, uh, Fuel Tech Malta Mayhem. And then I'll be going out to the July event, which is the first weekend of July. That's their night event, where we race from okay. 8 o'clock in the evening until 3 o'clock in the morning. Really? Yeah, Thursday, wow. Thursday, Friday and Saturday. How do get away with that? It's just too hot in the day. Yeah. It's way too, stakes, you, right? you just can't yeah. run in the day, it's just too high. It's like 40 degrees in the day. Yeah. Nobody wants to be putting on a race suit. Yeah. And also the car, the cars are just not performing. Yeah. It's just not ideal for the cars to be performing. So uh, yeah, you get to have a day at the beach in the day. Uh, and then you get about three o'clock in the afternoon, head back to the hotel, have a wash, shower, have a bit of dinner, six o'clock, and then work till three o'clock in the morning. And then obviously the bar stays open until about six o'clock yeah. in the morning afterwards. Yeah. Uh, and then you rinse and repeat. The only thing is on Saturday, we check out the hotel on Saturday um, at like lunchtime. We'll probably do a late checkout. So we'll do the beach and then check out, go to the racetrack, work till three in the morning. But then my flight's at six o'clock in the morning. So I shall literally finish work, um, <laughs> check out, go straight the to the plane, get yeah. on the plane, be back back in me on my sofa Sunday afternoon. Nice. How long is it fly? Three hours. Oh, that's not too bad. It's not, that's not too bad. Too yeah. By the time we get back, you you drop back an hour as well. Yeah, yeah. Jack did 186 mile an hour. Is what Bash is saying. Wow. He did what? 186 wow, mile an hour. That's still going, Tom, isn't it? They're doing bits up there then. Well done, well done. I wonder what sort of uh, distance that was over. Sort of uh, a half mile, isn't it? Is it over half mile? Yeah. How, long have, uh, how far is the shutdown at this? Is that You've got a quarter mile, then you've got another... A half mile. Okay, good, okay, yeah. Wow. It's not that long then, is it? No, so an extra quarter mile yeah, yeah. on top of it. Mm. Fair play. Cracking Dean could have got there the other day. I saw Dean's 11 <laughs> field. <laughs> <laughs> we went and had a look this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he did 
Yeah, he had a bit of a moment. He actually yeah. got a crate of beer for that yesterday. Did he? Uh, we had a Kestrel beer. Uh, what was it? Well, I couldn't even do it yesterday without the paperwork in front of me. The, 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 the boldest ride award by Kestrel beer. Right. And I had to award it to someone for the boldest ride. And it could have been handling and control. It could have been a burnout. It could have been something. And we, I gave it to him because basically his words were, um, he ran his PB at that time. It was like a 9.46 at 152. He goes through the finish line. As he goes through the finish line, the engine cuts out. He's trying to reach through. So with the fuel tech, obviously you start the car with yeah. your fuel tech, which is, in, so he's trying to get his arm through the steering wheel. What's holding it 150 miles? While holding it 150 miles an hour to restart the car. He can't get the button because obviously he's doing 150 miles an hour. At this point, he zips past um, exit one at like 130 mile an hour, having not touched the brakes at this point. Oh, and then he, he looked at them, and the guys were like, that car's in trouble. And he was like, oh. So he puts his foot on the brake. Because the engine's not running, he's got no brakes. Yeah. And at that point, he, he reached for the handbrake, pulled the handbrake, which locked up one of the wheels, pulled him towards the wall. And at that point, he was like, ah. Uh, so he's using that, he's using the gears to slow him down, but eventually he just went into the field. Yeah, I think that's the best option, to be fair, Bernie. I mean, well, the real best option was um, having a handle for your parachute. I did. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. So he's going to go home and buy a handle for his parachute now. Eh? <laughs> right, we're back with it. Again, apologies for the delay. There's nothing we can do about Mother Nature. Um, but now it is looking glorious. Now, I've actually got a bit of a sweat on. It's, uh, I think I might drop my coat whilst I'm up here. Oh, look at that. Right, so John Marku, we were talking about him a second ago with this uh, Mark 8 Golf. 10, was it? 1076. He's done 1078, I believe. Okay. Yep.
Ryan Keggins went green. <laughs> How is the boy? I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, he's, he's, he's all right. Keep Keggins. Keep Keggins. Keep Keggins. Keggins. Keggins, yeah. So Ryan French has gone uh, 14 something, 1480, 1490. Wow, the AMC X3 was testing something on the BMW and it looked successful. Can I try again? 1414, 92 miles an hour. Oh, you're going to push that. <laughs> Good effort, boys. Come on, muscles. Three, two, one. Darren comes in the house. Push! He has broke. Bash is in the comments. He says, Who are we talking about? Oh, uh, handle for the parachute and some new pants, says Juicy. Oh. Mr. Kenyon's in the house. There's the bag of chaps. Uh, it's been good. It's been good. I mean, look at it. It's a glorious day now. The wind's dropped a little bit. We've seen some amazing cars today, for sure. We've seen an eight-second pass from a BMW road car. No shabs in his, uh, his road car. Yeah, that's it. So, a race car, I think, at Door Slammers. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'll put an car. You want the lack of wind up here? It's nice. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Slightly warm there now. Yeah. Four layers of gone. Didn't need that. No, it was, uh, it's not quite yourself. Any shorts and t-shirts. Yeah. Yeah. I might put the air conditioner on. Yeah. No, I'll be right. So, what about the front end? Yeah. 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 Uh, have you put the new cams in yet? Yes, sir. Go to the dyno later this week or next week. Going to find out what that GP Turbo's hybrid does. Alan Kenyon, uh, Terry has bullied George into. Well, he's going to need a cage. So turn this. Never know. Right, two more BMWs. Kestrel Beer Lane's going to get there first, doing 102 at the eighth. And goes through at 11 38, 127, 10, 97, Oh, 
Was it? Look, look at that engine. Oh, what a piece of beauty. You're feeling all right there. Yes. It's a Vauxhall Omega engine, is it? The three litre V6. It is, yeah. He's around 250 or so. He's done a lot of custom work on him. It's all been fab by himself, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well. It's really nice. Surprised how well it launched. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at him and going, what? And he's off. You can't get to use my local bread. He's got some is the actual race car. Uh, drag racing for the eradication of seemingly incurable sadness. <laughs> I've, I've got a new sticker for the back of my truck. Big words. It says, drag racing, the most expensive way to get drunk with your friends. I know looking for that. TRS. <laughs> first, 11.34, Nigel Gregson goes 13.37 and 100. One mile. Yep. That's a cool Really? He's up there. I like that he's missing his bonnet, but um, Harry's got the bonnet strut, just in case. Taking on the S4. For someone with a rap F, maybe name? Rap? and the BMW 1 Series, and they were having like a battle off, and this was like the real cool hot hatch car. Then the next year coming along, it was the Audi RS3. Loads of people have that. And then this year, seems to be BMWs of all yeah. marks. Yeah. Just out of 
GTR Das GTI Festival at the end of the year is a sports compact shootout. Yes, expect a lot of the BMWs to enter that. Yeah, they're already here, like, yeah. Okay, Johnny Barrett's coming for his second run of the day with the Turbo Charles Beetle taking on the uh, six power four wheel driver around. So just bear with us a few minutes while we retrieve uh, the Renault 5 off the track. Tom Herbert is at the head of the lanes with the white label motorsport Corrado. All right, mate. You okay? Say again. Well, we've got a bit of quiet time. Just a reminder, the uh, the 2024 Collage t-shirt is in the shop. Pre-order them as soon as possible. You can only order what's pre-ordered, really. I'm going to add a couple on top. But if you're not there real early, you're probably not going to get one. You can see the new design. Got my new design? Yeah, yeah. Like, no boxes on there this year. Wow. 
welcome back. I love this car. So good. You just rolled it in. He's having lots of ups and downs with this car. Once in a while it's going real fast and then all of a sudden he's on his face. He's done it all. Pro ET, some races around Europe. When we used to do the European sports car, when we first started to shoot out, he was in it. Up with the BMW. The BMW. That's got it. <laughs> Mm. 
told him. <laughs> just looking at Ryan and like, yeah. Quick. All right. Simon Goff. Modified. It was mapped on the road um, by a guy that uh, Craig Evans and Raggy Conversions recommends. I forgot the guy's name now. Nice. Yeah, road map. Just never seen a dino. Hang on a clue. <laughs> That's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Saves you all that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 Are we, are we having a solar eclipse? so far is obviously going to be that BMW that went. That's impressive. Oh. I'm not going to say the R one, but you see the, the, the mm. bushes at the bottom mm. in the middle. Yes. But that's just, just like there. On, on this side, we're okay. Yeah. So 
one nine second car, uh, one ten second car. Can the X3 go quicker than the ten twenty nine? He's driving around the injured warrior and goes through the top end. Ten zero two, one hundred and forty six miles an hour. What a tease! Oh, Marky. Mark, he's the guy, um, for his second name, he's just done a YouTube thing with... Ah, that's it, Marky got it, so he got, got set. <laughs> Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. He's something like Marky Mark, who's... Right. Keep going, keep, come on, keep going. Grant Parker with GP Turbos, Mark Von Golf. He ran a low 10 second pass earlier. Ah, well, unfortunately, we're going to a little bit of rain down the bottom end of the track, and obviously with Grant trying to look to run into the nines, it's a, a good idea not to send him down there into the wet stuff. Of course, the wind is blowing these clouds straight over, so bear with us. Hopefully, this won't take too long. Marky, hang on. Yeah, that's a big Yes, sir. Well, we've got hail at the top. <laughs> See, that made for a good decision. Otherwise, uh, Grant would have driven into a hailstorm down the bottom end of the track there. So just bear with us, ladies and gentlemen. We'll just push the cars back for a minute. Obviously, already I'm looking to the right, and it's a lot brighter again. So what we saw floating over is going really, really quick. So bear with us. Yeah, we've got nothing this end, have we? It's, no, uh, we're good. Marky. Okay. Go deep. Yeah. <laughs> he must be of some ilk within the BMW uh, scene. Yeah, I'm not sure. Right. Well, as always, uh, so just a little bit of a rain in the air if you're watching on the live stream um if you're watching on european Formula drive facebook drop a like if you're watching on european Formula drive youtube please drop a subscribe we're just over a thousand now that's why we can go live and do these videos on youtube so people thank you very much for that when you can once you've um, hit subscribe maybe check out some of our videos we've been around europe we did a video where we visited Ravasno Dragway in Italy. We're going to go race there later on this year. Uh, a Grigno Raceway in Greece. We're going to there in December later this year. Of course, Malta Halfar Raceway. We're back there May, July, September, November, December. Uh, Tiep in Sweden. We're heading out there again in uh, August. Sarah's race in Greece. We went there in November last year. That was good fun. Nitro Olympics at Hockenheim in Germany. Once again, August. That's a great weekend. Hopefully, going to take the European Formula Drive Mark V out there. Uh, Clastres in France. That's only an hour and a half away from uh, well, Calais. Is it? Yeah. It's a great little trip. Okay. So, you go, oh, there's the heavy rain there stuff. Um, yeah, so that's just inside France. So if anyone wants to take a trip to Clastres, you get a number of front-wheel drive cars there, especially if you like the Hondas. Um, so there's a couple of videos that we've got on European front-wheel drive. Well, as you can look now onto the drag strip, uh, it is pretty wet out there now. Yeah. That is pretty wet. What is the time now? It's oh, yeah, it's yeah. 10, 10 to 4. <laughs> so I think that's... Um... The guys say... Who have we got in the comments still watching this afternoon? I'm a jam shared. I could not change another engine overnight. <laughs> Did you hear about this? <laughs> I saw the video. He put, he put a few little clips on, didn't he? So, um, Ahmed went to the dyno with the SCS engine. Um, I had some issues. Let me just listen to this message. Uh, that's bad. That's really bad. I think you can even see it. Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, he changed the engine for the SES. Then he went back and got um, the other engine that used to be in Nephew's car. 
uh, had issues with that as well. So then took it home and was like, we're done. Gordon was like, we're done. Yeah, we're good. Okay, we'll, we'll just have a nice, easy day. Um, and then in the middle of the night, Ahmed went, I've got hold of an engine. And so we worked till six o'clock in the morning, put a stock engine in, arrived here for Q2, did Q2, Q3, and then in eliminations round one, chucked a rod out. Oh, dear. Hardcore. Yeah. Hardcore. Well, of course, uh, it's raining a lot out there now. We're waiting to hear from the bosses. A lot. Look, we'll, we'll be famous. Oh, I like he's checking out all the secrets that we've got up here. What's going on? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm probably going to end this live stream basically because that is a heck of a clean up anyway. If we get going again, I'll go live again and we'll see what we can get. But instead of you just sitting here watching um, the track get dried for the next half an hour, hour or so, um, we'll just stop it there. Um, I cannot. Bosh. There we go. That's a blue behind That's blue behind us. That. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. I mean, it's blue over there. Actually, it is, it is actually nice. But even though, um, if we... That's a big cleanup. That's a big cleanup. And if we've lost the bottom end of the track, that's the main yeah. bit of drying. And I doubt you're going to get crack out £800 for a jet dryer for half an hour of running. Um, if you've watched it, like and subscribe. European Front Wheel Drive. We're going to have a chat with um, a YouTuber. Famous Jack, YouTuber. Famous YouTuber. He, he's got subscribers and viewers and stuff. He's over there. 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 That's it. We're going to have a chat with Beardy because he's been filming loads of content today. Um, if you've been watching, please go and get a raffle roll cake out so we can do the Door Slammers raffle and sort out the sponsorship for the Front Wheel Drive class. £7.50 for one ticket, £20 for three tickets. Someone will get an eight fifty roll cage in their car. Uh, there's about 60 odd left. So that's like, what, 20 people buying a free ticket bungle, and I can do that damn roll cage raffle. Um, thank you very much for watching, Scott. Thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, see you on the next one. Sign up to the next one, Monday the 1st of July, or the second one, the third one is in um, September. September 23rd. That's it. Got a couple more videos coming up on Europe here in front wheel drive. I'll post them whenever I can. Um, until now, ciao, ciao. Peace.